What's up, friends? Thanks for watching. You're watching the Beer and Sunshine Network. Beer and Sunshine Network is going to be a bi-monthly podcast and YouTube show that's all about beer and Florida. I'll tell you a little bit about Beer and Sunshine. My wife, when she was a little kid, she'd go to school, her mom would say, be a ray of sunshine. I heard this at a family function, and immediately I thought of beer and sunshine. So, as a joke, we used to say it to each other, my wife would go to work and say, beer and sunshine, kind of like a salutation. And one day I thought, beer for breweries, sunshine for Florida. So this, is, this show is going to be all about breweries in the Tampa Bay area. As far as I know, there's over 40 different breweries. My name's Tommy Thompson, and I'll be the face in front of the camera for most of these things. Each month, you're going to get two shows. The one show is going to be a new brewery, and the other one is going to be someone from the beer industry. We've got a beer club here in Sarasota that has over 500 members. A guy named uh, uh, Jim Kevity, he's going to be one of the guests. We've got uh, Sarasota Brew Through SRQ, a girl named Meg. We've got some really good stuff. Hopefully you'll enjoy it and you'll keep watching. And today's show here, episode number one, is all about Big Top Brewery. And that's these guys right here. We've got the founders, we've got the cellarmen, and we're going to learn all about their beer and how they got started and hopefully have some fun and drink as much of this as possible because the more we drink of this, the more you'll watch. Cheers. Don't get entertaining. Woo! Don't get a little entertaining. Cheers. So let's get rolling. <laughs> Cheers. Seth's on a diet. Yeah. <laughs> so, so guys, uh, tell me, how did this come about? How did you guys get into the beer business? Uh, you guys all look too young to have been doing lots of other things for a long time. Josh, I'll fool you on that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? 55. <laughs> oh, come on. Nonsense. You want, you, want, you want the truth or the made-up version? Both. Let's do yeah. both. We have well, the, of time. the truth is we got drunk in a garage one night and the memory stuck the next day. And we're, here we are. We got suckered into opening a brewery. <laughs> awesome. What, so what did you I mean? Tell me, how did you end up here in Sarasota? Are you guys all from here? I'm from here. Josh is from here. Pretty much from here. Yeah. I'm from, I'm yeah. from, I'm from yeah. Venice. Transplant's been here about 15 years though, so pretty uh, acclimated to the area, that's for sure. What uh, What made you guys pick this area, this this spot here? How did you? Because this building's awesome. For you guys that don't know, this building is is pretty huge. Uh, these guys have been renting more space and 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 uh, expanding their business. In fact, part of this business is a motorcycle shop that this guy runs. I'm a big motorcycle guy, so when I heard that, I couldn't have been happy. All three of them are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, these, all these guys ride. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I got a scooter. From motorcycles? Yeah. I met him uh, about 16, 15, 16 years ago when we first moved here. Him and I actually moved here at the same time. We were uh, neighbors and roommates. And then uh, met him at a motorcycle shop, and we used to ride on Sundays. And after we are done riding, we would stop by Josh's house and have whatever beer he had on tap. So years later, we're all drinking beer one night, and the drunken question came up: Why aren't we selling this? <laughs> so we, so then we you said, guys are we, you guys were making beer at the time. Yeah, Josh, Josh has been making animals. beer for thirty years, right? About thirty years. About thirty years. About 30 years. And you're the you're the brewmaster, right? Yeah. You're the brewmaster. Awesome. So, yeah, you, it just ended up. Uh, why aren't we selling it? And uh, we had to force him into retirement. Yeah. We got him drunk and convinced him that it was a good idea to <laughs> to quit thirty years of Publix. So awesome. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> And how did you guys all know each other? You just knew each other from riding, or so how we, did you come into the picture? We all live in the same neighborhood, so we're all neighbors. I think you guys uh, are my neighbors. You guys yeah, all yeah. live right near me. Yeah. Uh, I'm like one street away from you, I think. Yeah, so to, I guess to answer your question, the, the location was picked for a couple reasons. One, we, we definitely always want to be strategic in everything we do. There's 3.275 million people a month that drive, our, drive by our building. Hmm. And two, we can ride our scooter here. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So whatever, whichever, whichever makes more sense to you, you go with. But uh, you know, you know, the scooter a was a big factor. You just leave the car here yeah, you can walk home if you sure. gotta walk home. Yeah. I've done yeah. it. I've done that a few yeah. times. As Johnny would say, if your fun button gets stuck, you can walk home. And, you, you know, the sco in the scooter, a lot of a lot of people start riding on two wheels on a scooter, mm -hmm. and the sad part is. You get banged up enough. Those you get the ones pulled that hurt over. You. You, yeah. get, you get pulled over enough times. You're gonna end up on that scooter. You again. just you gotta tell Seth about the two wheels. He usually rides a scooter on one, and yeah. a couple <laughs> accidents have happened that That's way. So. No body work on yeah. The <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I you know I was just I was just telling you I just got another bike, and the whole reason I got that bike is because the, the bike that I had my main bike used to be my father's. There's a bike that uh, he had. It used to be a big bagger. It was a Yamaha Roadster. 
-hmm. and a uh, big windshield, all that stuff, and everything. Heard Fun. the rain bike, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I told him, we, we used to ride together, back when he, he passed away in 2010, but back when we used to ride together, I had a big old obnoxious chopper, I had a big dog, I had a big dog Mastiff. Yeah. And uh, I used to tell him, Dad, if you die, I'm going to take that bike, I'm going to chop it up and make it something cool. So he'd say, well, when I die, you do whatever you want. So sat on it for like a year, and then I started working on it. So four years later, it's turned into a pretty gnarly bobber, suicide shifter, uh, it doesn't resemble the old bike at all. People think it's a 1940s Harley Bobber, which is kind of the look I'm going for. But, you know, every time I get on that bike, you got to look the part. you got to have, there's a, there's a certain attitude that goes with that bike. Oh, yeah. And then every time I get on the road, I expect it to break down, and it usually does because of my crappy, <laughs> my, my terrible work. I'm horrible at everything I do on that. So You're what he loves about home mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Yes, exactly. I keep guys like you in business. Yeah. Sort of. And now yeah. we're starting to love it because people like you break their bike bring it to him and then come and drink at our place next door. <laughs> well, so the new bike is for wheelies and burnouts. That was what I kept telling my neighbors. Yeah. We'll edit that part out. We won't. That's right. My wife knows what Don't goes on when I leave the home. home. Yeah. 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 My wife knows what goes on when I leave Joking the quotes are flashing across the bottom <laughs> yeah. of the screen, right? Yeah. Well, well, on, a, on a controlled environment track. Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's, yes, right, that's right. right. That's right. We're closed loop. Prof professional environment. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so you were brewing beer and... Uh, how good were you at brewing beer? You should ask him why he started. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that answer's obvious, isn't it? Yeah. Back I before there, there were computers. computers uh, <laughs> to drink, drink cheaper. To how, drink about, cheaper. how about my parents are out of town and nobody would buy beer? Yeah. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> no. um, basically just started with, with um, parents were going out of town and throw a party. Um, there really, were really computers back then, so I went to the library to find a book on mixed drinks and found a book on, called The Joy of Home Brewing. You were how old? Uh, Let's, we can skip that part. Allegedly? Or <laughs> yeah, allegedly, yeah. Give yeah. or take a few years. Uh -huh. Very young. <laughs> uh, awesome. So when I started, I, I read the book, but when I started brewing, the, I really didn't, couldn't get grains or anything like that, so I had to make pretty much what you would call hooch, I guess, uh, you know, using maple syrup, different things, uh, baker's yeast, whatever I could to create alcohol. Um, it was pretty horrible in the beginning. <laughs> That's like making beer in jail. Yeah. yeah. I know oh, something yeah. about that. Toilet, toilet I've been wine. in jail quite a few times. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it, was, it was pretty horrible in the beginning, but then yeah, once I got um, acclimated and understood what I was doing, I was able to finally get a hold of grains and, and do the right things. It started changing. And, and start tuning to where I wanted to be. I've always wanted to brew beer, but uh, just haven't 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 gone down that road yet. I want to I want to make beer. I would like to make uh, bourbon. I guess Bur which you can make one of those at home pretty easily, right? Uh, you can distill whatever you want. You can yeah, make anything. Yeah, as long as you have a water distiller, you can do what you want. Right? Huh. <laughs> I, got awesome. question, I got a question for you. Can you cook? No, I just buy. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Anybody can make beer. Making beer is not hard to do. Making good beer, I know because I can't cook, uh -huh. and, it, and he can cook. It's a cooking thing. It is. I, it's like if no one went to add this and add that. I mean, follow the recipe, and make it the same beer twice is one thing, but it's to come up with a recipe. I've come up with recipes. He shows me at a dome. I'm like, how about this? And I give him recipes like. <laughs> because, because the, the ingredients don't go together. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah no, flavor from us. Really got to know what you're doing. So yeah, it's my if, you, if you, my wife is a, one of the greatest cooks in the world. She, every Sunday is pizza Sunday. She makes the best homemade pizza in the world. Her burgers are out of this world. Like she'll take the best kinds of meats. Uh, you know, like a, a, a brisket and some other really like good sirloin. And she'll blunt, you know, uh, process it. Whatever, whatever you do, you grind yeah. it up. Throwing some chorizo sauce, it's crazy stuff. I'm yeah. talking to five people ain't had dinner yet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. sorry. Well, it doesn't bother me. I don't yeah. eat meat. Yeah. 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 The funny <laughs> part is, uh, he has played with so many random recipes that we have created beers that nobody could probably dream of. Yeah. Um, we kind of came to known as those guys that'll just brew something up that. You would never think before in a liquid, but it does. The peanut and butter and jelly beer. The the large, large, yeah, you just had the crazy. peanut butter and jelly a couple that's weeks ago. That's, that's not even crazy. Yeah. That's, not even, that's one that. of the normal ones. Yeah. The Turducken uh, beer. We've done Turducken. We've that done was, Old that Bay was. and Blue Crab. Uh, that's all before my stouts. time. All before yeah. my yeah. time. Yeah. I've only been here a year. Chocolate crawfish. Chocolate crawfish. Just to name a few. We did about 160 beers last year. Yeah. So we released a new one every week. Or twice a week. Once on Tuesday and once on Friday. Where Ed, sorry, so for people that are watching this, where are where are we located? Because that's the one thing about this place; it's kind of hard to find. Sort of, if you know, if you don't, uh, 
If you don't know the area, sure. you don't really see. Well, they haven't gave us an exit off I-75 yet. We're still we're working on that. As soon as Google own, says you can stop, so yeah, if Google says you can exit, stop, you're good. It'll be a piece of cake. Yeah, just pull right off and you're good because Google says it's okay. But uh, we're 6111 Porter Way. Um, we're Cattleman and Bay of Vista are the main intersections that you can find us at, but we run right along I-75, so you can see us from 75. Um, Especially now with the new artwork. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. we have Audity yeah. Tattoo oh, out yeah, there so doing some, some artwork for us. Yeah. 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 You were watching them do it the other I was, day. I was sitting out there yeah. watching them do it. With rattle cans. Yeah. Yes, with That's rattle insane, cans. Dude. Well, yeah. the, the highlight of my day that day was I was at, my wife was here with me. We were sitting out back, and and um, uh, Tanya walks outside. Yep. Tanya's one of the bartenders. She walks outside. And goes, she's the bartender. The, yeah, the yeah, bartender. She's she yeah. watches this and doesn't feel she's top ranking. And <laughs> we're all in trouble. I, I told her, I said, hey, Tanya, I said, you guys are having a party on April 2nd, right? I said, I'm going to be a clown. And her face just, yeah. like, collapsed in on yeah. itself. My, my wife was like, she's like, why did she make that face? Said, what was that about? I was like, I don't know. I have to ask her. So I asked her later on, and she's like, I don't like clowns. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Johnny, right, I'm I like, Johnny, Johnny Johnny's fault. <laughs> Johnny told me I could be a clown. So. I, bri I bribed him with beer. I said, come on, at least entertain the kids for a couple hours. Yeah. So, uh, Last year's event was really big. We did our first anniversary party. The second one's coming up, April 2nd. April It'll be 2nd. awesome. We have uh, Blake Walenda, which we may see. Uh, we may, may be a guest down the road. We'll see. Sure. Wink, wink. Um, going to do a high wire act. We get a couple tigers from the Big Cat Habitat out here. They do a great job out there. And we have like you, to support you guys, everybody local. Yep. Have you guys seen the TV? Do you guys watch a lot of TV? You know, like TV shows? Record stuff. I'm still working on getting one back in the brewery, but uh, occasionally. <laughs> they got yeah, right above the cooler. For DVRs. Yeah. <laughs> you remember Zach Galifianakis? Have you seen yeah. his oh, yeah. TV show on, uh, on FX or something like that? Oh, the, uh, baskets. 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 Oh, I've seen oh, the previews. Yeah. Yes. Dude, I've got to watch I've that. seen a couple. I'm going to be baskets. A be uh, clown with a beard. I'm going to be baskets. Nice. It's awesome. There it is. And you're going to prefer Schweppes? Schweppes. Only Schweppes. Only Schweppes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, all right, Elliot is a. Uh, my buddy Elliot Ortega is our AV guy here. He's a camera guy, sound guy, and he wants to know what the wildest beer is that you guys have ever made. That's like, what's your favorite song question? Yeah, that's a good, <laughs> that's one. A good one. I would, uh, wildest, or I would say probably the, the, the most top shelf beer is the one that we got sitting right now is the Grand Crew. I'd have, in my opinion, I mean, it's kind of a base on opinion. Crew. It's 16%. Six, well, a, a Grand Crew essentially is, is your, your best beer. Yeah. What, is, it, is it, it's not on tap, right? Yeah. He yet. should explain it because the way he had the Brutus in yeah. here from the master. It's going to be uh, for the party. Yeah, it was a uh, two 90 minute mashes and it was a uh, eight hour boil. What's that? And usually the beers we all do are usually 60 minute boils. And, and, and this was how long? Well, the mash, we did two 90-minute mashes. So in other words, we, we mashed it the first time for 90 minutes, uh, extracting all the sugars and the alphas out of it. And then what we did is we actually took the first running, saved that, used that, mashed it in the second base, and then we collected it and work. And then from that point, we rolled it down for eight hours, 17.6% uh, alcohol. Holy crap. That's, super, about that that's one. super going to be a beast. Yeah. Super high gravity. We should be doing shots of that beer, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh Some say that's all that way you should be served. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would almost say course. the next one we've done uh, was in collaboration with USF yes. with the uh, white truffles. You want to explain that one? I mean, that was, oh, that's cool. that was a pretty wild beer, very unique. The only one ever done in history of the planet. Yeah, it's the beer that they said could not be done. How is that in, in collaboration with USF, the, the, the university? Well, they have a beer science class now and uh, actually approached Josh's. You know, really? Helping yeah, so out with the, the class. Every, so. every month is doing stuff. Brewing beers, going up there, talking to the class. So, you're, so in, the, in the beer, the craft beer industry here in the Tampa area, you're known as a crazy person. You're the madman. You're like the, the Mad shirtless, Max of beer. The shirtless, oh, yeah. the absinthe-minded professor. Let's yeah. talk about that one. Absinthe-minded professor. We keep jumping around, though. Which one? That that's one. the thing. You do 160 <laughs> different beers, and it's like, how... How many? Which one do you pick? You know, which which kid do you love the most? You know, is this Sophie's choice here? I'm not sure. How you, <laughs> but how, uh, do you, how do you make an absinthe beer? Like what? I, I've heard of absinthe. I know, like if people have tried it, they say it's you know. Oh, we had. You can trip yeah. up. Well. <laughs> we had. Okay. It's. I've never been impressed by it. Like what is? What's, yeah, real, what what makes stuff? absinthe? I don't know. <clears throat> wormwood is the main thing that makes absinthe. But what we did is we actually used wormwood in there for the bittering units. Wormwood is very bitter. So we use wormwood in there is for all the bittering units. Um, so there's really no IBUs in it because of the wormwood. Uh, we did use a little bit of hops, but that was just for the aromatics, the aroma. What's it? What's it? IBU? International bitter units. Oh, okay. All right. The so, scale on rating craft beers for how bitter they are. So. Okay. Okay. You won't see it in a stout or a porter. Only on the nails. 
in the craft industry look for that to kind of gauge with about the drink. What could you could you like give the basics? You know, I, well, I was really drunk one night, and I I explained to my <laughs> friend's twenty one year old kid like this is my version of like the basics of beer. It started with a pilsner and it ended with like something like IPAs are an acquired taste and they're bitter and there's so I much got forced to drink there's so much history and the different styles of beers you might want to just wipe off questions and one of us can shoot you. Yeah. There's so <laughs> much yeah, We go. need that poster that yeah, yeah there, it, it does go in so many different ways and how things were developed and how beer styles started and you know when you get into the the regular beer styles the ipas and the circuit and the imperials i mean it's there's actually mixed i've seen mixed history arguments on how some of them are started uh, yeah, like yeah. borders they say border was the first distributed beer in the world and they say that it either a got its name from train borders people that travel by train or because it's the first distributed beer it showed up in ports on ships and that's and that's part of it it was also the the second running of the stout so it was well, stout was like, like the original battle beer, child. right? So what they would do is they would actually give that last run and make a beer out of it and give it to basically peasants. So that was kind of like what they got. Now the style porter was only around from nineteen or from eighteen thirty three to about nineteen seventy. So it disappeared before prohibition and then come back. And they say that porter. They would say that the porters got caused like the real rich dark porters. People would say, man, that's a really stout porter. To the point where they're like. Let's just have stouts and porters then. Speaking yeah. of porters, Hawaiian Lion, coffee, coconut porter, my, my go-to. Yeah, this is my go-to. If this beer comes up, I'm doing my best to kill the keg. And yeah, we, we, got, we, got, we got some of your beer here, right? So we should, we should we try to talk about it. Yeah, some. check this label out, I, man. Let me, let me tell you guys something. I, when I, I was living in Charlotte before I moved here uh, a little over a year ago. And up in Charlotte, uh, there was a local brewery there um, called Noda Brewery. And they had a they had an IPA called Hop Drop and Roll, and I used to tell people, I'm like, this is the That's best okay. IPA anywhere. I was That's like, awesome. I, and they end up winning, from what I understand, the World Beer Competition for IPA. Yeah. I think they That's came great. in like, first place. Well, when I moved here and I tried Circuit City, which is what I'm drinking here, I thought this is in that same. This is like on the same level That's as awesome. Hop Drop and Roll. It, it, from and I again, my knowledge of of uh, beer and. I probably learned it all, but I forget it all. I have a terrible memory. <laughs> I might drink too much beer. But, uh, so you got to get on untapped. West Coast hops, right? Yeah. That's the one that's citrusy. Is that right? Yeah, uh, that it could be. Um, West Coast is definitely going to be more of a, a hop forward and hop longer. Uh, where Circus City is more of an English style, so it's going to be hop forward and then balance out. We get more of that caramel malt out of it. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. going to be balanced out, so it's more approachable. It's a beer that you're going to drink more with dinner. Um, you know, you can have multiple of them, and it's not going to destroy your palate. Or with breakfast. Yeah, is, you can yeah, do it with whatever. This is a good breakfast. You There's can't, definitely you can't drink all day if you don't start early. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that joke is made, but uh, I'll yes. never forget a time that we, that Josh and I were doing a run for the Alzheimer's at the Ringling Museum. Uh -huh. It was 4.45, and we're setting up a jockey box, getting ready to serve beer at 5.30 in the morning to runners. It was, it was right when we started, so it was crazy. Really? So, like, we didn't comprehend all this, how all this yeah. was working. <laughs> and we had two half barrels there. And here we are setting up beer at, you know, 4.30, 4.45, 5 o'clock in the morning. The runners get back. We killed two half barrels of beer in, like, two hours. <laughs> like, it, 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 it was Circus City. Circus City was one of our main beers there. And, yeah, carb load, that's exactly it. You know, it's one of those beers that, yeah, if it's 5 o'clock in the morning, whatever, we'll drink. Forget pasta, drink beer. So, I, I don't want to live off of it for however yeah, many months, right, yeah. you know? Yeah. I don't run unless I'm being chased by the cops. Yeah. <laughs> but I would definitely... I would I decide, he's I a runner. Him. He's a runner. I'm not a runner. I'm, I'm not a runner. I'm I'll wait for you to get back and be like, I had a great time while you were yeah. gone. Yeah, you know? I carb loaded too. We had a running club in here last night, and they stopped for... Stop for energy. Beer is the best. Mm -hmm. And I, I used to, when I was in Charlotte, I got big into mountain biking. And me and my buddy, we'd, you know, we're just a couple old fat guys. We'd go ride for two or three hours. And afterwards, oh man, there's not, nothing better than a beer. But actually, to me, like a crispy Pilsner after. You know, you're worn out. Something light, right. just yeah, easy. Fresh yeah. light, yeah. Crisp carbonation. Fresh air, yeah. But don't even lie. Did you just ride circles around the bar, or did you actually go somewhere and come <laughs> All back? All right, well, well, you know. <laughs> oh, so the truth is now coming no, out. <laughs> no, 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 no. When I, when I would mountain bike, we, that's, that's like the East Coast mecca for mountain biking. Right? Cross-country mountain biking. Mm -hmm. Best trails in the world. Like a dozen trails within 30 minutes for us. It was awesome. But, actually, whenever, my wife always makes fun of me because whenever I say, I'm going out for a ride on my motorcycle, 
Usually, I'm just riding down the street to the bar. That's right, yeah. I just really that's just it. ride to the bar. Yeah. That's, that's really all I do. Find like hell to get up the hell and then look, look, look Ma no hands down it. <laughs> Going out riding, got lost on the way home, needed yeah. to stop in and ask directions. Got thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. And happened to have a bar, so oh, I, yeah. you know. So what, what are, what are, you time we've done that. If, if somebody comes here for the first time, um, and actually, can you guys talk about your theme? Because obviously we're in Sarasota. This is the home of uh, like Ringling Brothers Barton Bailey Circus. The Clown College is here, which I did not go to, but I am an awesome clown. I was a clown when I was like 17 years old, believe it or not, at a restaurant. It was like a Bennigan's called The Ground Round. So it was up in New York. And up to New York. So you weren't joking about that. No, 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 like you're, you're straight I, up yeah. white face. I, ordered, oh, I, I, I think I've done deal. We already made it. That, yeah. night, that nice. night I went Just home and I spent like a hundred bucks on a clown We're costume. Deal. I've got tricks and the kid, if there's kids here, He's done. there will be kids here. We locked it in. We are crazy family friendly. That's why we all have kids. I got I got money on you Chase and Tanya. I am going to... I am gonna probably bring some vampire teeth. Yeah. And at some point, I'm gonna give her real. It, 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 I'm gonna give her nightmares. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I'm gonna give her nightmares. All right. I, I probably will. Nice. Sounds good to me. Uh, all right. So well, yeah. where did it come? You're, yeah, so yeah, you're asking theme. like where we came from, the theme. So uh, yeah. you know, to jump in on that. So when we all got together, we were going back and forth. And one great thing that, in, in our opinion, that breweries really do is they showcase their hometown. You know, great breweries really want to highlight what their town is about. And, and, and showcase that. So when we got together, we went back and forth, and we went back and forth for a while. And it was, what is Sarasota about? What can we showcase with Sarasota? And obviously Sarasota, it was built on the circus. You know, John Ringling came here, we were the winter quarters for it. So we really wanted to showcase that, but as funny as clowns are, we didn't want to go over the top with clowns. We wanted to really showcase the history. You see Circus, Circus City back here. That's Sir Wellington. He's kind of our, you know, our mascot that's, uh, you like know, becoming to be. Yeah. Um, but behind Sir, that is, is, is legitimate <laughs> Sarasota. That guy. Yeah. We're not, we're not really sure where the name Yeah. So <laughs> our Brett, Brett, Brett's our regional sales director. One day he looked at it, he goes, that's Sir Wellington. And it stuck almost instantaneously. So we were like, Sir Wellington, we'll go with it. But uh, we wanted to showcase Sarasota. So we wanted to build something that our brand could be built on and, 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 and showcase and say, all right, what is Sarasota? Well, Sarasota for a long time has been known as Circus City. You know, we were where the winter quarters were. We were where all the all the performers stayed and lived. Yeah, all uh, the crazy we, carnies. Yes, yeah, so and we became, we became a beach a town. That's exactly there. right. You know, oh. so we wanted something that can showcase that, but not just be over the top. There's so much yeah. history in this town, which to me is awesome, and we've kind of built things. I mean, you see the table we're, we're, we're sitting on. This is, these are railroad ties. These are 150-year-old railroad ties. You know, with Pecky Cypress, we, we wanted to try to do it right, and we wanted to do something um, that Sarasota can be proud of and say, that's cool, that's my hometown, and they're representing my hometown the way that we want to be represented. Who built this table? Every but, time I move it, I get nervous. I feel like I'm we, gonna we break did. it. And listen, I'm listen, the quality's there, okay? You signed a waiver, right? Yeah. You'll notice this one's not epoxy. So all of these were built by the three of us in my driveway before we even had the building. So. Seth and I went to uh, went to Tampa to I, find the railroad ties. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Josh and I went to Tampa. This, yeah, that's this, right. This table's money. This, yeah. this, if you guys ever, if the beer thing doesn't work out, you guys can go to the table business <laughs> for sure. I don't think the miter cuts are on point. Yeah. yeah. Remember when Sean came down, our buddy came down. He's Amish. He said, you guys ain't bad. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are buddies with an Amish guy? Yeah. Oh, by the way, for people, nice. if you don't know, Sarasota has a huge um, uh, Mennonite community. It's called Yoderville. Yoder. Like, Yoder's, Yoder's restaurant. You got to go there. Yeah, some killer, awesome killer food. Bay of Vista or as People or Der like Dutchman, people. not gonna sell it. Der Dutchman's oh, on point. Uh, hey, Yoder's hey, hey, top hey, featured on Dutchman. Man vs. Food. They were featured on. Oh really? Were they? Really? The There's buys, actually yeah. quite, a, quite a few uh, restaurants. I know that taco joint on Beach Ridge. Oh, the taco favorite. place. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. If they only yeah. sold beer. It'd be you know win-win. So well, maybe we can fix that. We're working on that. So <laughs> all right, well, so a couple of us are out of beer. So we're yep. gonna take a break. I'm sorry. Hang on. And we'll be right back. <laughs> so we're back. We've got some fresh faces. Handsome George over here is yep. Brett. <laughs> yep. He's a guy that spreads the love. Yes. Spreads the love all over the Tampa Bay. So just about customer service spreading the love. This guy right here. Brett, mm -hmm. Brett, tell the nice people what you do here at Big Top and how we met. How about what you're supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of everything. Don't tell them what you do. <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to go out and uh, sell beer. Um, actually, how I, I met uh, Mr. Tom here is that uh, I was actually at an event at uh, an account called Joey D's, and uh, just got to talking and uh, found out he loves craft beer, 
and here we are now. And he bought me one. And by an event, he means he was just there drinking <laughs> and uh, servicing his account. That's right. And I showed up, sat down, we got to talking, and he bought me a beer, and then that's pretty much why this is happening right now. So, so Brett did his job. That, yeah. They felt covered with customer service. <laughs> yeah, covered with customer service, absolutely. Yeah, all over. It's all just over. dripping. Just yeah. dripping. So yeah, so we're back and we're, we're talking again here about Big Top and these fine fellers. Um, so Where? yeah, the question is we're all filled back up. Yep. Yeah, we're all, yeah, Some of us got big boy glasses. Some of us didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's an Ashley. Yeah. Nope. No. It is. This is a honey blonde ale oh, made just for the blonde. circus, for the Circus Arts Conservatory. Well, that's a honey blonde. I said yeah. Tom got a, a, a Ashley. Actually, if you, oh, if Tom's you, come, if you come here to Big Top, they will test you for testosterone and estrogen. Yes. Estrogen's high, you get these glasses. Mm -hmm. Testosterone's big, you get the man glasses. That's how it goes. <laughs> no, this is uh, the mirror and these glasses. Is don't wake up naked somewhere weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The best way we test, though, Tommy, show them. Get under the table and show them how we test. All right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> See, we said it was going to get interesting the more we drank. Yeah, so this break was a lot longer than a few minutes. <laughs> we've, been, we've been hammering beer yeah. for at least at least 45 minutes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, you know, that's a real thing. It's going to happen on the show one of these days for sure. Absolutely. Uh, so you got to catch me when I do my empty stomach trick. <laughs> <laughs> start drinking on empty stomach. I know that Next trick. Next day I just come in. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> hey, since you're since since you're talking, why don't you? One thing about Big Top, as I mentioned this before, these are motorcycle guys. I'm a motorcycle guy, and what they did is they had a. If I I might be screwing some of us up. are scooter guys. Right. Some, of, some of us are scooter guys. That's why we're at the front of the yeah. table. They right? had a motorcycle shop across town, and then they moved it here, which is incredible. This is a brewery with a bike shop, folks. A brewery with a bike shop. That, that's pretty unheard of. Except for this place in California that serves pancakes that I heard about on a TV show called Cafe Reach. Pretty awesome. Epic. But tell us, Seth, tell us about the about the bike shop. What goes on there? A uh, little bit of everything. What we did there is I had a motorcycle shop, and uh, it was a little too much, too big for you know, trying to maintain that and do everything we were doing here. What was it called? It was the bike shop. The bike shop. <laughs> nice and simple. And Brandon. And then uh, when we took over the building here, when we were expanding, I was able to square off enough space for myself in the existing warehouse to downsize the business, bring it here and have a little more fun with it. So now it's more of a hobby. We can pick and choose what we want to do, work on stuff and have fun with it. And it's not a stressful business it's on the other side of town. He's lying. It's a very stressful business <laughs> because we're going to take some footage. It's going to be it's going to be here in the video. It's probably like, you know, next or something. Our know. grain storage room is not filled with motorcycles. There are right motorcycles now. all over the parking lot out there, and every one of them is a customer's bike. And then you go in the shop, and you can't even walk because there's so many customers' bikes. But it's a real deal. They do it all there. They've got whatever you need. Tire changing needs. Got it. You know, whatever. As weird as it sounds, though, it's distressing. It's just you know, this place when you're running and burning and things are going a million miles an hour, and uh, you know the beer beer can't wait. Beer needs to be done when it needs to be done. You can't you can't stop and start fermentation. Work on a bike, it can wait. So do you? So, so <laughs> he hates it he, when I come and bug him. He's the brewmaster. Um, shot. He's he's the cellarman. Yeah. And and the definition of cellarman is the guy that takes care of the beer after the brewmaster makes it, right? Basically. So yeah. So what's what is you guys' interaction? We're in Florida. I can say y'all's. <laughs> which I'm from New York originally. That's pretty silly. But uh, you know what is what you guys what what uh. That's the New Jersey way of saying it. You guys. Use guys. Yes. Actually. Use guys. Yes. Use guys. Pretty much everything in between you could imagine. I mean, I do a lot of stuff to maintain our tasting room here. Um, it stays pretty busy. We're actually open seven days a week, uh, which is a little different. Some tasting rooms don't stay open seven days a week, but we've uh, been building a business. You know, we've got a lot of locals that come in. They kind oh, yeah. of feel like it's their local cheer spot. You know, everybody's kind of on a first everybody name basis. Everybody knows your name. First name basis here. Uh, you know, everybody feels comfortable here. This is a lot of fun. We do a lot of fun events. I know you've been a handful yeah, of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Keep it interesting. But, I mean, we wear all the hats. Like, you know, we help in the brewery. We help in the tasting room. We run events. Oh, Johnny, you've been brewing, too. Yeah, and uh, yeah, luckily, uh, Josh here has uh, kind of passed the torch down on our small system. We have a production system, and we have a pilot system that we were talking about some of our adventurous brews on earlier. Um, brews what 35 gallons of beer, usually 40 gallons. Usually, it's what we yield on those, and uh, kind of do some R&D on it. We, we find some fun recipes. We really like them. We can scale them up to produce them if we want. That's how our uh, chocolate peanut butter beer started as a Declan's indulgence, and 
we played around with that with small system. It became so successful that people still call daily to ask if we have that chocolate peanut butter beer here on tap. It's, it's gotten that popular. I get, it, I get so. it every time I'm behind the bar. But I've had a lot of fun. I, I mean, I've probably got about 12 to 15 brews under my belt. Uh, I do all the cellar work for our pilot system. So every beer we release like Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, Josh has taught me a lot. I've been excited. It's one of those fun subjects. I can see why it's a class in school now. I wished it would have been one back when we were in school. Yeah, we did, we had a we beer, did beer science class. When we I, did it. We just beer didn't get credit for it. When we were taking a break earlier here, we, they, these guys are telling us about uh, collaboration with the University of... Well, actually, they mentioned it on the camera before, I think. University of South Florida. So, in at USF... I'm a beer doctrine. There's, there's a lot of people beer, that go to school for class. seven years, okay? There's a beer <laughs> class. So there's a beer class? Yeah, I believe it's beer science. They don't get a degree, though, do they? Yeah, it's a, it's a beer and food science class. Yeah. Associate's degree, bachelor's degree, and trying to turn it into something. Yeah. Yeah, they are turning it into something, yes. That's crazy. Yeah. No, so it, guys... star it started in 2014. That's actually the crazy thing. So it started in 2014, and, and if I remember correctly, we were the only brewery to do it with them in 2014. Um, we started it with USF, and then it became such a big success that they brought it back 2015. Um, they brought it back with Avid Brewing, Darwin's Brewing, uh, Big Top, Cigar City. Cigar City was out there, Green Bench, uh, Green Bench was out there. Uh, I don't want to miss anybody, but if I did, I apologize because all of them were great. Um, and, and what was incredible about it was that the class from 2014 to 2015 quadrupled. So when, when we had everybody in here for the first time uh, in 2015, the entire bar was packed with students. The, 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 the Herald Tribune was here. Everyone was here, and it was, it was something that we had never encountered. It was, I was like, wait a second, this is... This is legit. This is happening. This is going to be something that's constantly growing. Um, and, and Josh was able to work with three to four groups as they pair together. And I know we mentioned it earlier, but uh, we were able to brew the beer that was said could never be done, which was the White Truffle Kolsch. Um, Urbani sponsored tell it. Tell that story. He told it, or, or you want stuff to tell? He, no, that's fine. Oh, well, that's, we tell that story. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty, that's yeah. pretty amazing. Stuff. No, it, it was cool. You know, it was one of the things. So, so, so one of the students, Dennis, came up and he said, "I want to brew a beer that I've been told by everyone else can't be done." He called around to breweries. He called around everywhere he could. And he said, "This beer I've been told can't be done, and I want to do it. And I've been told you're the guy that can do it." Josh said, well, I think it can be done, but financially, I don't think it can be done. The, what's the beer? What so the, the beer, beer is a white, it's, well, so the, I guess the basis for it was a truffle, white truffles, which are the mushrooms. They're very rare, and when I say expensive, they're more expensive than gold. You know, truffles, we, we had, how many ounces, Josh? It's probably like 13 ounces. 13 ounces, and I think the retail price for it was around $6,000. And keep in mind, you, our collection rate was 17 gallons. So if we were to retail this beer, if you were to go to a World of Beer or a Brass Tap or a Mr. Beery's or anywhere around there to drink a, a 12 ounce glass of it, you'd pay around $300 for that beer. I thought we figured it was it, Well, they at a tier them. one price, obviously, he you know, did, you're going to charge say 500 It was $3,700 for a glass, Sorry, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was, say it, don't no spray it, we want, yeah. we want the news, not the weather. Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it was literally, it was the beer that was said that could not be done. And this student was aggressive, and he said, look, if you're the guy that can brew anything, I'm going to put you to the test. And Josh said, all right, let's do it. He got with Urbani, the student, uh, you know, Dennis, Dennis called up Urbani in Italy, mind you, and said, so we want to make a beer with your truffles. We don't want to pay for them. <laughs> we want you to send them to us, and we're going to make an incredible beer. Here's the here's the resume, if you will, for our for the brewmaster that's going to do it. Uh, mind you, the guy that did at this point what 160 different beers last year. Um, Urbani said, "We're in. Let's do excited. it." They, they overnighted five thousand dollars worth of truffles. Well, I mean, think about it though. Truffles, what they grow out of the ground, right? Yep. It's no, just something they grow, grow, they grow, grow out of the ground. They grow underground. Yeah. Underground, okay. yeah. Just pigs. They have pigs, pigs or dogs, dogs that sniff them out. So out. they grow in dirt. Pigs are the one that find them. Mm -hmm. And they charge <laughs> all that money yep. for the truffles. So they're sure. way overpriced, right? But we're you can only get them in certain areas. Isn't the true moral to the whole story? Is if you have to overnight something from Italy, make yeah. sure they pay for the shipping. <laughs> <Yeah. Yes. laughs> and, and the other part to that is make sure you nail it. There's a, there, the pressure galore 
was uh, on could him. You imagine if I mean, could you imagine somebody sending you five thousand dollars? You ruined the bet. And you ruined it. Oh God! I, I, I stepped back and I literally I was sitting at the table and I was like, "Good luck." You know, I mean, you, that's, when, that's they, when they showed up, did you just take a handful and go, ah, two hundred dollars? No. No. It wasn't. That wouldn't have been two hundred. The whole bat. It was this. It was, it was like five grand. Yeah. That was five. That was like five yeah. grand. It was badass too. Oh, it came in a big old box. It came in a massive box, and this <laughs> was like <laughs> five thousand dollars. Oh, rich white people! Oh my goodness! <laughs> we rich were, people problems, baby. To? Rich people we were problems. We were it off the small fermenter on the pilot system. We brought in one of our, you know, our flight guys, the four ounces. And we all kind of took a sip. And we're like, "Well, there's 180 yeah. bucks gone." <laughs> <laughs> <Whoops>. <laughs> If you people don't know this, in there Italy, taxi cabs are Ferraris still. and Maseratis. That's a fact. They're rich over That's there. That's true. Yeah. Yes. Johnny just brought up a good point. I there's just made a, that up. I there's a very good true. chance that we may be able to find a bottle, and you may be able to drink, allegedly, supposedly, from what we can find, the most expensive beer ever made. I think we're a few podcasts away from me tasting that beer. <laughs> or we're tonight. Tonight. I mean, right. we might be able to find one. Unless he's scared. Do you think he's scared? I mean, oh, there's no fear. Uh -oh. Are you sure? Oh, I'll drink anything. Yeah. Elliot, go grab some trash out of the can. I'll eat it. Anything. <laughs> I will. I ate a piece of chocolate cake out of the trash once just to prove to this girl that I ate a piece of pizza out of the trash on the streets of New York City. True story. Oh, New York City trash. That's yep. a whole other game. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I, me yeah. and my brother and my roommate. That's how the bubonic plague started, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> that's, 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 that's what they want that. you to believe. That's like exp <laughs> expiration dates. That's a lie. Expiration dates. <laughs> they they just want you to buy more definitely. stuff. Definitely. It's nonsense. Curdled milk, what's that? Yeah. Penicillin? Cottage it's good cheese. for you. Yeah. It's cottage cheese. Healthy. Cottage cheese. Yeah. Cottage cheese, yes. Uh, all <laughs> nonsense. Cottage cheese, yeah. so. On a so serious note, do we want to drink the beer? Because I will go get it. Uh, do we want to drink the beer? I'll do it. If you can find a cup of it, we should get some solo kidding. cups and play the most expensive game of beer pong on this <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yes, Quarters. this is true. This is true. Here's, here, here's, here's for $300. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Hey, whatever you guys want to do, it's your show. Really. It's no, it's technically, it's your show. No, no, technically, it's your show. I'm going to get the beer. Not okay. Yes. <laughs> Give this me a is beer. happening, folks. This is happening. Son of a bitch. You're going to see history. Give me a drink. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. <laughs> this is happening, guys. We're going to drink the most expensive beer ever brewed on camera right here. Beer and sunshine, guys. White beer trouble, and sunshine. White trouble Kolsch. White trouble Kolsch. Dark. Dark horse. I shouldn't say that. Actually, oh, yeah. So were you, were you, were you scared? It's a bug. Were you scared when you were brewing it that, like, oh, if I screw this up, because there's only this much, no. you know? Josh has no fear. He was wearing three hairnets that day. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, and I was on the other side of the brewery. I, have, I haven't so seen this guy panic, and I'm talking, when we first got some of our equipment, I could tell you stories where some of the steam jackets weren't quite right, and we had a tank with 930 gallons in it, rocking and bouncing off the ground and I'm looking at Josh I said, Josh, this tank is rocking around. He's like, it's all right. You know, we'll figure it out. Maybe we just need to adjust some of the steam pressure. The one gauge is at 100 and the one's at 3. I'm like, yeah, it looked like they're a little that off. Differential is we're trying to dial good. them in. The tank is bouncing on the ground. Josh's like, yeah, we'll figure it out. I said, man, this guy doesn't panic about anything. I said, I all right. I'll figure it out. Why? Wow. So, Have we ever noticed when he's brewing all the empty ash gain glasses? Oh, there? yeah. yeah. <laughs> that actually, I mean, that leads into one thing. No, we're trying Doesn't like the calm, the no, calm in the storm. No panic comes from what? Beer. Racing motorcycles. That's true, yeah. That's true. Think you, about you it. You race motorcycles? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So let me ask you this. So I know what you ride. You you, you have uh, the Z1000. Z1000. It's a sick bike, a really sick bike. Somewhat of a naked bike, but it's a beast of a, of a sport style. bike, really. Street fighter style. Street fighter. And then you, you have, I know you have the one classic bike there. I have a 79 XS1100 <laughs> Cafe Racer. And then I just, Anything else? I just got a 02 SB650, so we can be tracking these Jennings. I hear is the most fun motorcycle in the world. I've known people it's, that it's have my had third one. That's your third one. Yeah. I know a guy who's probably been through like a, a dozen of them. That's ridiculous. Oh, no. Oh. You're not drunk enough you yet, Mike. Right. You can walk in with that. Listen, 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 listen. What? Listen, what? Listen, listen. You can't ask him because then our motorcycles aren't cool anymore. Wait, no, no. Well, actually, no. That makes him kind of a douchey guy. Right? He's the douchey guy. Too. He looks at the cool guy. He's like the down-to-earth guy that you would see here. You know, the brewmaster and all that. But he turns into the douche guy. Do you have a Ducati? <laughs> Hey. Which is the Ferrari Dose. Hold on, I got an Envy Agusta. And an Envy Agusta. And a, and a Penigale R. <laughs> what? Is that, I don't even know what that is. That's, what, that's, that's that is. what Publix does for you. Oh, so you have multiple Ducatis and a, and a, and a, and a, a Envy Agusta. Envy 
this is is like the most expensive motorcycle out there. That's one of the highest end Italian. We're, we're running out thing. quick. Oh, <laughs> we had a we had a guy coming in one day and he had his Pentagalli R out front on a kickstand. He walks in, he goes. Out out front. We're like, uh, that's the brewmaster's good. Can I, can I good. <laughs> wow, beer, the beer money is good. And then we got one for the camera. So, no, no so, so, so beer pong, hold full, on. Full disclaimer, this is called the Dark Horse as a Dark Horse Brewing Company. We no longer yeah, use hey, the name. Hey, hey, we gotta um, give one to Elliot. We gotta he's gotta get a taste. Well, sip about that. <laughs> <laughs> that Elliot, are you gonna have Elliot have didn't fun? make the cut, okay? This is this is this oh, is hey, this don't is spill the, it. Uh, this is the beep horse. Uh, shaved white truffle culture. This is the we most censor it because there's a there's a cease and desist. We did not mean to use it, but the the uh, the student so from for, USF. So what is this uh, worth? If we if that know, shot we, honestly yeah, is honestly. lie to me. Yeah, hundred no on like uh, about what one twenty? No, hundred bucks. $100. No, it'd be a little less. It's all about the Benjamins. Right around eighty, I think. Yeah, eighty right. dollars. Yeah, yeah. So it's a white truffle culture. So so the story as it goes is. You know, the, the student said he just wanted to make white truffles. He wanted to make a white truffle beer. Everything else, the canvas was blank, and it was up to Josh to come in and say, all right, well, if you're going to make white truffle beer, this is what you need to do. And what what else what else is in here? Besides the white truffles, what else makes this beer? It's just a Pilsner malt. It's a Kolsch, Kolsch yeast, uh, and truffle, and the hops. That's it. Kolsch yeast, it's a Kolsch, truffle, yeah, the base hops. is a Kolsch. What kind yeah. of hops? Uh, the hop was, if I believe, it was a fuck. A what? Fuck bubble. Fuck bubble? What is that? You know, you can't stay over there. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. Fuggle you, man! Yeah, Fuggle you! What the fuggle? Was it U.S. Fuggle or a U.K. Fuggle? Yeah. So what is, what is Fuggle? What is it? Fuggle is like a European hop. Yeah. 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 Fuggle is yeah. having sex real drunk. Yeah. Fuggle. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna go Fuggle later. But it's very, it's very <laughs> light. It's kind of citrusy, so that kind of brings out some of the different it's characteristics. It's a blank canvas. Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't overtake or overpower. Or... Well, the whole idea when you're designing your beers. Shut, 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 shut. Cheers. Oh, we're getting Nancy. All right. It's like motherfucker. Nancy. Absolutely. Why do spill? Cheers. Please. Cheers. Don't spill it. Wicky Vicky. Addison. Ah. Outrageously smooth. Yeah. Very, very smooth. Yeah, yeah. Earthy. Yeah, like the earthy tone. That's the chocolate. Get, get that backside on it. Oh, yeah. man, that's that. Tasty. Mushroom. Yeah. Wow. So we, just, good we all just did a bunch of mushrooms. Things are about to get weird here, yeah. folks. Yeah. Yeah. As if they haven't already. $13 of foam still dripping Yeah, he better lick that glass, huh? <laughs> yeah. How big is your Oh, you tongue? literally did it like a shot. I guess I'm the only one there. Yeah, all right. Damn. Oh, I didn't do it either. <laughs> I wanted to enjoy it. I did too, actually. I have a tongue like a St. Bernard, so I can lick all that film off there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> I don't, I, yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to lose everybody. Model. Episode one. <laughs> Episode one. Model. If only we had smell vision folks. Yep, you wouldn't even right. be watching anymore. You would have never came back. Scratches I won't tell you why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a mystery. You got to come to Big Top to find out, guys. Find out. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's let's talk about your core beers. Let's talk about your core beers. Why do people need to? From Tampa, from Clearwater, from St. Petersburg. The, the, the Canadians that come down here, the snowbirds, why do they need to come visit this place? What are the beers here that they have to try? All of them. Yeah. All of them. So, All but what are well, they? Let's the first one. Grab Circuit City IPA, Josh. Let's, let's, let's get the flagship. Let's start with our core IPA. It's one of our largest distributed beers, I would say, out there. So, Product facing. And Sir that, Wellington, named by yours truly, as we uh, <laughs> earlier mentioned. <laughs> I love and it. then Brett's gonna just. Well, yeah. his glass was empty, so you know. No, I wanted to get that beer. It's not been sitting there for a while, and it's not warm or anything. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's probably the perfect temperature right yeah. now for an These are when I go to the grocery store. Actually, I'll be honest with you. So my wife is a preschool teacher, and when she gets off work, five thirty, she calls me, and she says, "Do you need anything from the store?" And I every time I say, <laughs> um, "This is not exaggerating. I'm not lying." I say, give me a six pack of Circuit City. She's like, do you want any cheap beer to go with it? I'm like, all right, give me some PBRs too. That's why I run, that's why I run through yeah, these. That's PBR is my grassroots. But this is my go-to. This is this is the business right here. So that's so we business. are we're definitely quite proud of Circuit City. So uh, Circuit City was and has been our core beer since we started. Um, you can find it at Publix, ABC, Total Wine, Win Dixie, for almost throughout Florida. Um, and, and you know it's done, awesome. yeah, and it's done incredibly well for us uh, this year. Silver medal at the World Beer Championship. Um, you know, it, it's just it's a great English style IPA. If you're 
I don't want to call it a, a, a gateway IPA because that's probably the wrong term because there's definitely hops in there. It's uh, 69 IBU, 6.8% 6 alcohol. Very drinkable. Yeah, but it's, oh, it's, it's, it's just It's very palatable. Like, it's like, a, yeah. believe, a believer like, IPA. Yeah. yeah. A believer. Yeah. Yes. A believer. Like yeah, I've turned so many people around yep. with this. When we Me do too. tasting events, yeah. sometimes we'll walk by and they say, hey, what do you have? And we have a Belgian wit, something else, and we usually have our IPA. Usually we'll get a couple people, you know, women, guys, that say, I, I just can't stand IPAs. So yep. that's when we all say, well, try this. Because if you don't like it, then who cares? Yep. You don't yep. like it, We've lost it. nothing. But I mean, if you, if you don't like IPAs, you yeah. 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 And there's a, a, more times than not, people drink it and go, I can absolutely yes. do this. Yeah, yeah. Yep. IPAs are super hoppy, They're, which hoppy hops are kind of bitter. So my story with, with beer is I did uh, Pilsners, I did uh, your Ambers, uh, some brown brown beers like brown ales and things like that. Exactly. And then I I I uh, I've been an entrepreneur since 2000, so I've always worked for myself. Well, in 2010, after I got into a bunch of trouble, legal trouble actually, FDA stuff. But that's another story. That's sounds another like podcast. A setup. That sounds yeah. like a setup. It's another podcast. No, so I, I moved to Charlotte. I took <laughs> this job at this company. Yeah. <laughs> I, worked, I worked at this guy. <laughs> Change your name. I worked. I worked at this guy, and we had this beer, this bar across the street uh, called Buffaloes or something. And we'd go there and drink every night. And so we'd go there. At, I'm, I'm 45. My my close-up vision left a while ago. And so we'd sit down, they'd have these menus. Josh is 52. Tiny words. Yeah. Oh, what? No, that's not the number that we said oh, earlier. 65. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they can't keep the story straight. Believe nothing they say, just come enjoy their beer. But yeah. so I, I, I would go to drink beers with my buddy, and there's this huge menu, tiny words, and the waitress would come over, a server, a party. That was sexist, kind of. All right, so she, this order, person yeah, would come over. And they'd ask me what I wanted, and, and uh, I would say, just give me what he's having. And every time it was an IPA. And so for two weeks, I would bitterly drink these bitter beers. And then you couldn't read the menu? I, like, them? I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't read the menu. Bitterly drink I, the I can't read the menu beers. here. But they don't have a menu here. We don't have a menu. Yeah, you have a chalkboard. It's a big chalkboard. If, if you can't board. read it, you need to go back to school because it's block letters. That's the beer list. It's right there. But uh, but anyway, yeah. So this is this is the go-to stuff though, and I that's think Ashley. Same thing. No, that's that's Ashley. Ashley. Yeah, you're drinking this, Ashley. That's a lot of. Also, Ashley. That's another story. You got Ashley over there. You got that's to pull story. Ashley out. Yeah. That's another story. So Circus Trade City is amazing, and if somebody's not into hoppy beers, you ask them to drink Circus City nine times out of ten, they'll say that's not too bad. Yeah. This is what 10.5. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 10, 10, 10 point, about 10 points right around there. Yeah, it's right around 120 IBUs. Oh, there's no Ashley? Around 10.5 is called Ashley Gang. The Ashley Gang, no Ashley. this is the high gravity stuff. This oh, yeah. is the, this is the in you a, know. In the history behind the name, if you live in Florida, you should really check it out. John yeah. Ashley was the Jesse James of Florida. Huh. He was a, the baddest outlaw here in Florida. He was actually executed by the police. He robbed banks. Uh, Allegedly. Yeah, he was he was robbing banks. So, yeah. He made the beer, and we just were like, this beer has to have a name that stands out. And a lot of our beers, or all of them, we try to name off of, give homage to Florida. So we're like, what's like something really badass in Florida going around and around? And we turned up Ashley, John Ashley. We made Wikipedia Ashley. with it. Really? Oh, yeah. Mm. He Plus, was against big government. He was against government shutting down the local moonshiners and, and trying to put everyone out of business. And his way around it was not necessarily a legal way, but he found a way. Uh, and uh, he, he would support the local moonshiner. He would, you know, which back in the day. Time. Yeah, no, we definitely always follow. You know what? Let's let's time. on that note. Let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, finish these beers because they're all pretty low. Cheers! Let's, Cheers! Let's, we Cheers. Just, we Cheers. Just, we just, we just, Cheers! We just we made history just now. We drank Cheers. most Cheers. of the beer. Cheers. 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 beer. And we'll be, back, we'll be back in a few minutes with more beer, beer. in sunshine. Right. We're gonna drink about it. Just drink about <laughs> it. Just drink about it. He just wrote something. I'm using from now on. So drink about it. We were just talking about how the University of South Florida thing, mm -hmm. how he Central. won first, know, second, and third South, or South. whatever in some you know contest. We don't want to bring that up. I feel like we should. You don't no, think so? No, no, no. Because like I said, there's other yeah. breweries and you, know, you don't want to it's sound, CC, yeah, about exactly. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to exactly. I, I don't want it to be. There's a relationship. Us quoting. Yeah, exactly. Time. That's not. We're not quoting. We're explaining the business. Hmm. Okay. I was looking at the way I was looking at it was. You know, anybody can take the most expensive ingredients sure. and make a beer and it tastes like crap. Sure. But that's not what happened here. What happened here is this guy made something. That was that a proud was moment. Amazing. Don't get me wrong. I was right there and it was yeah. it was cool as hell. I what, think that's intriguing. But people would want to try it. out of this and I hold up cue cards. We already have that. It's all right. It's all right. The only thing is, like, care of it. It's a brotherhood. 
Of yeah, course. A hundred percent brotherhood. The, the, explain something to me. How do you feel like that shitting on the other brewers by saying that? Because we already mentioned their name and who they were. And CCB, I don't know how, what did C, uh, CCB had a lot to do with it. They gave a lot of tours. I don't know what beers they made. If they made any, I, yeah. There's there's a lot that went on. That you know, there's some things I don't know about what they did, but because yeah. they all had their own people. But yeah. I don't. It's too many politics. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. probably the best that, way to put it. There's we a have lot a of politics. Relationship with all. Yeah. The okay. okay. We just I, we just don't want it. You, you know how it is. People are going to take any little thing that you say and misconstrue okay. it. It like, sounds competitive. You're right. Exactly. You're right. I and I just I get it. I get it. That's not. I mean, CCB has been alone. It wasn't registering, but I get it. I get it. That sounds competitive. Like yeah, you're putting yeah it it's, it's, it's okay. not, and it's That's not fine. what we're trying to yeah. accomplish. Cool. Did you cool. drink about me Thank while you. I was gone? I, I, we did. Yeah. All right. But you still have two beers on the table. It's all right. Is it yeah. Are we not yeah. mentioning that this you is not carb yet? Or no, so I no we're not going to mention that this is not carb. Yeah. Right. We already told it. That's what we said. This is not carb. Yeah. We're plugging in the witch, though, right? Yeah, I get that. Yeah, definitely plug in the witch. Absolutely. That's When do you think this is going to air? So you know that this is going to be flat. You're alive right now, buddy. Well, no, I, I, did, I tasted it. Yeah, but it's not carbonated. No, no, you can't keep white ears. It's going to look like we get more. It tastes like a nitro. Yeah. What's a nitro? Right. By nitro. definition. 75% nitro. Because those are always smooth. Yeah, 70 Those are always really smooth. 80, 80, 20, when, 75, when do you expect like this to be seen to everybody? Uh, Elliot, what do you think? One week. Week. All right, so okay, this will perfect. be before the party, so we definitely want to. We're gonna plug the Yale and the Witch, which is in St. Pete. The party this is called the what? So this is what is this? Oh, I don't. I don't even know what oh, it has well, a name. This well, was save a, it. Save it. Let's talk about it. Let's keep the conversation. There was real. a beer yeah. I was just kind of doing for them special. I told them I would do a cotton candy beer. I didn't put a name on it or anything. Yeah, no, that's fine. Cotton, cotton candy. Cotton candy. Let's, cotton candy. Keep, let's, let's keep not it. call it that. Let's, let's keep the conversation. Is it salty? Let's say it's salty. Salty. It can be. I can fix that. No, no. Let's save, let's save the conversation for, for... Yeah. 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 Do you know, you know the date? <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, we definitely want to plug, uh, plug yeah, you on the list. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll let Brett talk about that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's... got to get these bad boys in Because the big top ten's going to be there. The yeah, new yeah. Ten? The new ten. Brett's new ten? Brett's new ten he's that he's going to live in. Damn. Brett is going to live in this Elliot. new ten. How long Can until you're ready? Huh? Wait. What rolling? are you doing? Just keep talking. Rolling. You're but, live. I told you guys we're live. Oh, we're, we're live? We're rolling. Oh, I told you okay. we're. Okay. Oh, wow. Great. All right. So, yeah. So, we're live. <laughs> Let me put my pants back. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. So, I guess Thanks, I'm not, not going to go God. take a leak right now. Thanks, That's God. happening. Yeah. We're not happening, I mean. Yeah. So, all right. Cool. Let's. That's where the editing department comes in. You guys have this thing all wrong. I'm not in control of this thing. I just happen to be sitting at the head of the table. But, uh, you know. So That's we're just because you won the coin toss. This? I did win the yeah. coin toss. Are we yeah. talking about this? Let's talk about this. We can talk about this. I mean, what's when's the last green? time what's you saw a stuff? neon green beer? Oh, don't, wor <laughs> oh, don't worry there. about this. The break was long this time. <laughs> so what so, is this, Brewmaster? Yeah, man. <clears throat> this is a cotton candy Saison. So uh, it's a Saison, hmm. uh, and we use cotton candy sugars to flavor it and the same time the secondary to give it the color. It's not super sweet. You know, when I smell it, it's you not like you, you gotta love really the color. There's no oh, the food dye. Awesome. There's no yeah, coloring no in this. <laughs> this is the cotton candy sugar. This is what's gonna be released at the Ale and the Witch. Is it a coincidence? When is it? When are we same, releasing it? Is it the same color? It's the same color as Tommy Sugar. It's that close. That's what we were going for. That's what we we, we tried to go for. But uh, when are we? It sucks. It sucks. When's it being released at the Ale and the Witch? Oh man. This will be for an event on the 26th at one o'clock. 26th of when? Of March. What year? <laughs> AM or PM. Just checking, man. If it's, if it's 2020 it. right now, people are going to be like, wait a minute. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know, the Ale and the Witch is uh, an ex extremely great craft beer bar. How come yeah. you don't smile when you're saying this stuff? Right? You should be excited. He yeah. never does. Really fired up. You should see him on Monday morning. get a teeth check, so yeah. someone told me I forgot to shed my teeth. No, <laughs> nothing, is, nothing in your teeth. He's so right. dry nothing. about everything. Yeah. As he he's looks very away, dry. He's very dry. dry. He's a very eyes. friendly guy. He's a very friendly guy. Uh, uh, hey, hey, Handsome George. Oh, ladies. You see him on Monday morning. You're single, yeah, right? You don't want to see him on Monday morning. Hey, quick, quick nah. question. You guys are all married guys, single yeah. guys? What's your story? Because, you know, this is, this is going to be out in the world. Damn. And girls are going to, you know, you can come flocking here. Tommy is actually the to... most eligible bachelor in Victor. Absolutely. Really? Not really. Well, I've yeah. got Miss Pamela, and I'm, I'm kind of smitten oh, yeah, he with moved her. From oh, smitten with her. 
I am pretty sure. Pamela Anderson to Pamela Anderson. And I actually got that. I doubled up on the uh, white trouble. the same girl. And I got a girl in the white trouble crate, so we're good. Really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> definitely good. Yeah! Woo! This guy will celebrate anything. I'm available. Yes, here it is, folks. Oh, here it is. The money shot. Boom! For those know. of you who don't get this, our brewmaster doesn't wear shirts. Look, every Ever. time, there's windows, Ever. there's giant yes. windows, which is the coolest thing about uh, the brewery, that look out into the brewery. Yeah. This guy is constantly dripping with sweat. I feel like there's a shower out there. It's like you're in some cheap strip club, and there's a shower, there's a girl. Shower, shower. Oh, you call him cheap? Oh, you call him cheap? Club. Yeah. It's like a J-Lo. I heard, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've never. No, this guy's uh, top dollar. Never yeah. been in strip club. I've, no, I've just made that out. squad. He's yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this is the real. This is what you get. Mm -hmm. yeah, hey, this keep it real, folks. This is a uh, big top right here. Party it strip is. club looking to carry craft beer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he will do guest top. appearances. He's, and he's top. great at a poll. Ask him. <laughs> <laughs> he works for beer. In so in how is beer? Write the recipes. He does weddings and bar mitzvahs. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 How is this? Why is this, why is this so green? How's, how's it's actually color? it's actually the cotton candy <laughs> sugar that made it green. The cotton candy what? Sugar. Sugar. Cotton candy, yeah. There's a, such a thing as a cotton candy sugar? Oh, sugar yeah. water. That's how you make, yeah, that's how you make the cotton candy, yeah. And it bats it, and then it uh, spins I know it nothing. around. And I really was a clown, was but I've never like? clowned in a circus, so I don't know if you get to now. You're going to be a clown on April 2nd. Here <coughs> April 2nd, yeah. baby, April 2nd, 2016. Bingo, bingo the clown. Yes. Throw, it's a throwback <laughs> to the Ground Round restaurant. <laughs> what kind of balloon animals are you going to make? Uh, the best. You better not suck. Uh, just, you better uh, not snakes. suck. Rocket ships. I'm gonna make rocket ships. A lot of snakes, snakes. snakes. A lot of snakes and, and rocket ships. I want a long hot dogs. <laughs> Foot long hot dogs. I want a bicycle. Uh, uh, bicycle's definitely not gonna happen. It's your lower intestines here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brains. Yeah. Brains. Pipes. Uh, Pipes, <laughs> tubes, yeah. baseball bats. Baseball bats. I can do a lot of baseball bats. Yeah. Inner awesome. tubes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, it's a donut. Wieners, <laughs> like hot dogs. Hot dogs. Big hot oh, yeah. dogs. Hot dog. Yeah, no bun. Man, Star Wars. Lightsabers, no man. Lightsabers. No Lightsabers. All you got to do is a twist and a pinch. This is a Jedi party right here, if I've Boop. ever seen one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> obviously. Well, it's upside down right now. But, yeah. Are we supposed to drink slower on the podcast? Or? Uh, only <laughs> when he puts Hasn't really. stopped us only for the first 45, 45 on, minutes. Hey, know. only when he puts on the slow-mo yeah. effect. Should oh. we all do a slow-mo cool. drink? Are we supposed to drink? Wait, mine's empty. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> never been done. Uh, like Probably the, never be done again. And that's never happening again. So I know. switched to the Conk Republic Key Lime Wheat. Oh, that's right. Speaking oh, of that, that's six I mean, speaking, speaking of, of the Conk Republic, that's, our newest that's called a reset. Yeah. That's our newest Let's get back to the beer, reset. folks. Check right? this out. Check this out. What? We just canned this this week. Bam, son. Look at that. It's a great day. You want to sit on a beach because right, we're in Sarasota? Right, right in front of your beer, Mike. <laughs> Listen, is that, is that the normal, let's not get technical. Is that the regular key lime one that you guys have? It is, oh, yeah. yeah. So we've been doing this beer for two years, right? Two yeah. years here at the tasting room. People have been going crazy about it, but it's been a... We've just been trying to figure out how do we size it up? How do we size it up? How do we make it the way we want to make it? Um, and finally, we said, you know what? we got to do it. We, we, you know, we, the branding's there. The, the beer is there. People are loving it. You know, everyone comes in when, 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 when. So finally, now. Go time, baby. Go time. Build it up. Build it up. Like I said, I don't like rich beers, but uh, my my wife, she has had she 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 like she'll try some stuff. She's a little more adventurous in beer, and uh, she she got that. I tried it, and that was the first time that I had something that I thought would be too rich. And I was like, yeah, this is not bad. It's not yep. good. Now I'm not gonna lie, I don't ever get it. Yeah. Because I like the I like you're, the you're you're I like an the IPA guy. Sure. Like Dude, it. it's a wheat beer. This is our oh, beach drinking right. beer. But it's, it's delicious. Uh, yeah. Sure, you yeah. said you can't read the menu, so we can give you any beer you want. Pretty you don't much. Even know what you're getting. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is very crushable on the beach. Yeah. yeah. I can't read this the check. Here, I actually, I will ask. I will ask whoever's behind the bar to read it. That is actually. And I, I really can't. Or whoever's next to me. I've asked old guys, like when I say old, like guys in their seventies. To read the check and tell me what it says. That's a weird segue. All right. Well, it's, it's the thing. Right. It's real. It's the thing. Uh, not talking to those old guys, huh? Or sometimes I just make it up and just go too big. Really, probably. That's actually. Uh, well, I appreciate that. That's when beer you do number that. three. That's the third third beer we've <laughs> ever packaged. canned. We just oh, started packaging yeah. and canning it. 
Um, just last week, we got it out of Tankaga. Ran Two days first ago. First run at Cairns on, I want to say, was it Tuesday? Yeah. It was Wednesday. Tuesday. Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, when? No. Publix, ABC, Tuesday. Total Tuesday. Wine, Wind Dixie, gas stations. It's it's already on back order it's with them. So, it's it's, it's, it's going to be. High yeah. week and it's all gone. It's gone. It's yeah. sold. It's gone. Yeah. What sure. is, let me ask you a question. I thought this earlier. Really, what is your beer operation compared to other beer operations? So, mm -hmm. as far as I know, you know, over. 40 something breweries in the Tampa area, right? Yeah. Oh, he knows. He's a guy that knows. Compared to the other operations, like I heard uh, Cigar City in Tampa has Legends. a very big operation, Legends. right? They're Legends. huge. And they're huge. As they're big put, as they are and as successful as they are, too, they're, they're super cool people. Yeah. They're awesome. They, they helped us through a lot yeah. of sticky points, problems. We've made really good friends with the guy that runs the entire canning machine, the whole department up there. And when we started canning, he actually came here and helped us get us set up. And hats off to him. Awesome guys. 100%. There's they're a here, difference between saying you're in a craft beer community and there's a craft beer culture and then actually executing that culture and hands down, no so bullshit. Those guys are, they set the bar so high. We have to work every day. Who's got literally. the biggest beer operation in the Tampa Bay area? Who's got the biggest? Biggest or most known? I would say most known. Like it's got to be CCB. Yeah. Yeah. Reputation yeah. 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 And they're they're putting out. Yeah. They 100. percent they They're putting out beer that's despite incredible. Despite your size, you look at Cigar City. That's your thumb. That's yeah. Where, that's where really? you yeah. want to be. Okay. There's no. I don't even think there's any question that they're probably they're probably what got us started. I know for me, my wife and I. My wife was off Wednesdays. I was off Wednesdays. Every single Wednesday, we would go to, t the, to to CCB and go to their tasting room when their tasting room was like as big as this room. And watching them grow was just like, wow, this is killer. They deserve every bit of it. They they're making killer product. They are they're literally it, it's setting the bar. Like I said, is an understatement. But when you when you uphold everything that you think craft beer should be among the culture. Those guys have done it. I'll tell you what, that, that highlight, yeah. that highlight. Next oh, yeah. Beer, oh, yeah. That, that, yeah. That, that, that was the first beer that got me into IPAs yeah. in Florida. For sure. That's, the that's, highlight. That's, I was like, that's, white Oak's my go-to. The that's White Oak, White Oak. Woo! Give me some White Oak sauce. That's one of my favorite yeah. breakfast beers. 100%. Yeah. That, that one's anything. like Little Richard. Yeah. That guy'll celebrate anything. I'll never forget. I'll never forget. Cold cuts, baby. Leaving, I called Total Wine in Sarasota. This was before Big Top was even a thought calling Total Wine in Sarasota saying, hey, do you guys have any good gourd? They're like, no, we don't. I was like, any chance you know who might? What's good gourd? Good gourd's their pumpkin beer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. get you some, son, get you some. Yeah, okay. So they didn't. I said, any chance you can like figure out who might? They said, well, the one in Tampa, right next to the brewery does. I was like, be there in an hour. My wife and I drove straight up there. Grabbed really? as many bottles, as, oh, I swear on my life, as, grabbed as many bottles as we could. And we're like, we got these well, ones you right guys, here. You guys have a pumpkin, pumpkin beer, beer, right? We do. Yeah, we got pumpkin stiltskin back segue. there, man. Yeah. Yeah. What this is pumpkin stiltskin. Oh, so this is our pumpkin yeah. beer. Yeah. It's 8.9 yeah. percent, dude. She's a beast of a beer, man. That's uh, this is when Josh finally gets to take time off. What do you mean? What does it mean? So he takes it. So this is per 30 barrels, and this year we'll do between 90 to 120 barrels of this. Um, it's 400 pounds of pumpkin per 30 barrels. So where he takes you, where the Where do you guys pumpkin. get all the pumpkin? <laughs> we <laughs> robbed somebody that knows somebody. Like you get a pumpkin no, patch? No, we, we use get... actually pumpkin puree just because that's the most feasible thing to do. Uh -huh. um, so whichever distributor we can get the most pumpkin puree from is what we use. But the difference here is Josh will take it home the day before. And that's why I say I, we always joke like, oh, Josh gets a couple days off before he makes pumpkin stiltskin. He doesn't it's really not really days off. It's Josh gets to go home and bake pumpkin pies in the, in, in, the, in the containers, put them in 55-gallon drums, and then bring them back. I mean, Bake pumpkin pies like with a crust? No, bake, bake the, the base. I mean, bake, you can bake, probably tell them better the, what you do. Yeah, I'll take the pumpkin, uh, roast it with uh, hand-mixed spices. So I actually hand-mix my own spices. Everything is done selected by, the, by what I do. And, then and you I, do that at home, literally? Yeah. You don't have the ovens here? <laughs> no. No, yeah, we're working on it. Why just put ovens here? No, so wish, Markley uh, Construction will just drop a know, name. How do, you know, <laughs> how do you know what he's doing at home? We don't. We don't care. We, we the, just trust If him. you've had the beer, you don't give a trust. shit what the hell he's doing at home. That's <laughs> yeah, it's like, you win. Cool. You took the week off, and we got that. 
Sounds good to me. That, that works. It's like yeah. Buffalo Josh. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to dance around like Buffalo Bill. Yeah. Yeah. As long as he's making oh, boy, it. Well. He's shirtless here making it. We don't want to know how he's making it home. <laughs> That's what Josh says. He puts the lotion on. Yeah. 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 Little exactly. dip of this, little dip of that. Trust me, folks, you're going to want to try it no matter what you're thinking right now. There's a ton of pumpkin pumpkin beers yeah. out there, right? Are they all He roasted? says it best. He says honor? it best. Is the roasted thing like special to your pumpkin beer? Or? What's so good about pumpkin seals is actually you actually taste the pumpkin. You'll taste the pumpkin crust. The whole pie. The whole pie. So you do make a crust? Don't we can open crust. this if you want. It's not freezing cold, but we can open it. I drink it. I'm not a huge pumpkin beer fan. So well, me, maybe, me, maybe. This is where Seth comes in. If you can convert me, I don't think Hold I have. Hold on, here's the story for you, right? I haven't had it. Tom, you want to go grab I, some glasses? I, I hate saying this, but I don't like pumpkin beer. I don't. I don't. I'm from Delaware, and uh, the pumpkin beer that Dogfish had is really well known up there. I don't like pumpkin beer. So one day I left work, I'm on my motorcycle. I called Josh up and said, you know, yeah, you're off. He goes, yeah, I'm off. So I said, swing by for a beer. He's like, all right. So I swing by, he's got two taps at his house. I said, what do you got? He goes, I got my pumpkin beer, I got my IPA. So he will line me up with one of your IPAs. He goes, oh, you got to try my pumpkin beer. I said, nah, nah, dude, I don't, you know, just give me one of the IPAs. Is this before you guys started Big Time? Oh, this is way, oh, way before. Way before. Way before. Way before. Oh, really? So you can just smell it first if you want. It smells very rich. Very, very rich. Like, anybody who likes rich beers, you're going you're gonna to flip that over that. Bro. So, but, uh, I'm well, curious. Lo and behold, he talks me into one of his pumpkins. Uh -huh. You gotta try. So uh, I drank. Try, try. I drank his pumpkin. Drink beer, anything. And seven pumpkin beers later, my wife had to come <laughs> pick me up. I had to leave my bike in his garage. <laughs> He's like, "You want another IPA?" And I said, "Nope, pumpkin beer. I love that pumpkin beer." Really? There's probably I've had probably 20, 30 different pumpkin beers. There's probably two or three. Can I just pour some of that glass there? there? Yeah, go ahead. We're gonna have Tommy's bringing back some glasses. I think Brett sums it up best of the way. He's, how, how do you describe it with pumpkin beer? Uh, Tommy, the best way to describe a pumpkin beer, at least in this industry right now, is that everyone's making one. Nope. This is, it's not a wheat beer, it's not a pilsner, it's this. This is a specially unique style beer, but everyone's making it. So the best way you can sort of judge, you know, uh, at least a brewery in, in the general sense of the quality of beer, is that... What does that say? I can't read it. See, I told you. 8.9. 8.9. 8.9. It's an imperial type. Uh, pretty much. 8.9, yeah. No, everyone's making a pumpkin beer. Away. Everyone's making something similar, but how do you judge it? I mean, if you're if this, oh my god, this pumpkin beer is good. It's a great, great way to judge okay. pumpkin. Right, some... Other things going to be great. I think, I think, like, like, I find pumpkin beer is very, like, light in body and watery. But this has like just such a. It's rich and creamy. It's, it's, it's rich and creamy. It's rich and creamy. You can take it's a taste a, of vanilla. Oh, uh, buffalo top. Yeah, yeah there's definitely there's some vanilla. Sugar. Sugar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> pumpkin it's pie. pumpkin pie. It's pumpkin pie for pumpkin sure. Pumpkin pie in a glass. That's the best way to describe yep. it. Don't forget Elliot this time. Oh, cannot forget him. No, I didn't. It's, it's delicious. I gave him the white truffle. You already got it. Number one thing with Josh. Oh, there you go, man. Make sure we're sounding good, boss. But it's a way of layering the flavor. Wait, what? I got seven layering flavors in a beer, but. You get this, then, and then this, then, this, then. That's why he does things on those guys. It's kind of cool, you know? Whatever he wants you to Bam, taste. Bam, son, look at that. When, during his yeah, process, right? It, hey, I, I'm, I'm not blowing smoke smoke up his turd cutter. I was telling oh, him earlier. So I was telling good. him earlier. He's so good. Sad, I'm no. really good. Well, well, that's, that's, this is that, warm no, no, I mean, I mean, and I mean, nine, uh, eight months old? Eight Literally, months old. sure, yeah. But not metaphorically speaking, but yeah, I was telling him, his the stuff that I normally wouldn't drink, when I drank his stuff, that sounds weird. Uh, you, you just go with it. You get it. the flavors. You get the flavors. You get the the flavors are you know. That's because it's real. Uh, you were yeah. going crazy over that peanut butter and jelly last oh, week. Oh, peanut butter and jelly were, uh, the best. Yeah. yeah. Some of That's us had to go out of town. Yeah. And weren't able to get that beer. And you were loving it. You, you should so have so have you, what are you, you, what? you're cool. You. What I'm do you guys? Stay here, what's coming what next? Like what? What's the stuff that people? If, if, what is today? The 11th of March? March Dry 11th? Irish oh, Whiskey exactly. Stout. Dry Irish Whiskey Stout. What else? What, Tell them we're due. As many different oh, beers man, as we I, do. That's my baby. If I you follow us on Facebook, yeah, yeah. we'll let you know what's coming out, and you yeah. will be surprised every week. How do they find you on Facebook? Big Top Brewing Company, baby. You can find us. Right. We're Big all Brewing. over it. Big Top Brewing. And every week, well, time you usually post on Monday, I believe, yep. Yep. what yep. two new Whole beers week. that are coming out every week, and then get a... Tuesday and Friday, we released a new one. Tuesday and what Friday. Else? What else? What are, what are the other core beers that you guys have here? Um, we got, got the hotter bond, month. dude. Talk about the hotter bond. I think we yeah. have to, you know, we're gonna have to run through them, and then it's gonna be our next so bottle release. Oh, that's my bottle. We're gonna have to end that's this my podcast. Bottle. You got it that is. from my office? Yeah, I did. 
Oh. That's our next bottle release right there. So this is this show is the water blonde. You gotta show it to them, man. That uh, poster right there. Yeah. So my wife actually hand roast all the jalapenos for that beer. So well, she comes. She looks like she got pepper sprayed yeah. by the police. Yeah. Yeah. She, she <laughs> yeah, comes here. She'll, she'll she'll grill all the. She'll this year all the we have three thousand jalapenos coming in for this beer. Yeah. And so did it have this 150 oh, have, have gallons of have local. Is it oh, yeah. spicy? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah, it's got a, it's got a, it's got a yeah, light whoa, whoa, whoa. heat to it. So I'm not a big fan of spicy food, me personally. I'm crazy for spice myself, but gotcha. I, I don't this think has I'm try it. you're gonna love that beer. The balance on this really? beer, which I think that's a big defining feature of a, a lot of our specialty beers, is the balance. The balance of this, not too much of this, because it balances. Not, nothing so, overpowering. Which exactly. Is what, yeah. Yeah. You can Absolutely. taste everything. Yeah. That is this this beer. I think epitomized the most. Yeah. Because I don't like spicy at all, but this is my favorite beer we do. So. There was a place my bottle, there, so. when, uh, when my wife and I lived in Charlotte, there was this Mexican joint that had these uh, jalapeno, jalapeno and, and tequila, and they made some crazy drink out of it. It was called Fire Something or Other. I took one sip, and I love hot stuff. Like, so we like had fire water? We, oh, it, was like, it was something insane. I took one sip, and I'm like, I, I can't do this. She drank both of them. She drank mine and hers. Whatever. You told me about the bathroom after. Yeah, that was crazy. Well, I didn't you told me about what? What happened? The bathroom? The bathroom? Oh, yeah. What happened in the bathroom? How much? Sea bass? Straight fire. <laughs> fire, water, burn. How, how spicy is that? Is it? Not. Dude, it's, that's the best part about, about it. It's, it's, it's actually blended with you, uh, when you first local grown honey. You think There's 60 gallons in that? You, on the back side, you use 60 gallons on the back side. It's a nice smooth heat. No, it's perfect. Wait, no. 30 for 30 gallons. 30 barrels. Yeah. Yeah, so we got, we have like 150 gallons of My Sweetest Honey. honey. My Sweetest honey. honey. On beer honey. Yeah, on beer. yeah, My Sweetest what, Honey. Do you guys know, like, as far as your core beers, what you sell the most, what's second, what's third, what's fourth, what's it, like, what, do you guys know what that is? Circus City kills it. Circus City kills it. Yeah, trapeze, I, can vouch, I can vouch for that one. Yeah, yeah trapeze, it's just... Trapeze Bunk is a hard second, it's right behind it. And Conk is gonna yeah. really, uh... Yeah, Conk, yeah the Conk's gonna be great. Trapeze Bunk can you say? Yeah. Uh, Conk. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, just to check your hearing. <laughs> it's a, Bel a Belgian style beer. So this was sauce. our beach drinking beer until the Conk Republic oh, came out. It's still a beach It still is. It's light, citrusy, super easy to drink. It's our Belgian way. This is my favorite core. I, I yeah, it. it's, I mean, it's, it's a solid ass beer, How, man. Let me it's ask just... you this question. How come with the, the beers that you consider your core beers, the ones that you see in the, in the, in the grocery stores, in, uh, in you know, the, the ones that you can find easily, why are, how, how do you, how did those end up being the ones that you can find everywhere? Like I see this in gas stations. Everywhere, it's all over the place. I think the thing Super about our beers is about being a little bit different. So, yeah. Circus City IPA. How many people make that? IPA? Well, you, you, you're the guy selling the beers out there. You're, the, guy, so. you're the feet on the street. You can take it down now. He can't how see is it? it? You're the feet. You're the feet on the street. How is it? How do you do you pitch certain beers? I mean, how does that? How it's does that about work? being a little bit different. So, I mean, Circus City IPA. There's a lot of what we would call West Coast style IPAs, which that's awesome. You know, that, that hot one. But we made one that was English shot. A little bit unique. different, you know. Something a little unique. different, yeah. Something unique. You don't want to go buy the same six pack with a different label on it. You want right. to buy something different. Right. Yeah. This Belgian way. Did you? Not a lot what of are we drinking now? Do you guys use the, the numbers here? Which one? And what sells the most? The and oh no, we're not doing that. And those. Well, no, yes. maybe. And then after you partially yes and partially no. Because that would that seems to make sense to me. When we first started, I know it's not really, but to a certain degree, yeah. I said that. Open it. We actually had to come up with core beers and pitch them. Yeah, how much longer we got? We were up and going. Three minutes. So we picked cores hmm? and we kind Three of minutes. from there, but we kind of made changes to this. We've covered this one. Hawaiian line, my go to. But that's the logo I, right there. I right. may or may oh, yeah. not be drinking it right now. This is our coffee night. coconut porter, 7.5%. That's the good stuff. Well, that's it's delicious. That's really jam. awesome. It's delicious. That's it's called a jam. We had people from Jacksonville that I just, during the break, I'm back there behind the bar. People from Jacksonville said, We've heard it is. all about this beer, and I was supposed to come get this while I was down here. And we honestly, this is seasonal. We're talking what, late October? Yeah. Probably be back late October. It's the chocolate peanut butter brown ale. I would probably say it's gaining in popularity tremendously. I mean, one of our most popular beers. People are calling, sure. and I just had people ask me about it. I said, it's coming soon, but uh, I can't wait to have it back. You and guys did a chocolate peanut butter pretzel. We oh, did. we do. It's called the we State did First Cock and Bowl. Bowl. Yeah, we did a Cock State and Bowl. First that changed out. my life. Legend, legends yeah, in the craft beer industry. Holly and Don are great with craft beer. 
Um, I think that, I don't know if there's any disputing the fact that how we brought craft beer to Sarasota yeah. and or promoted Years and the first started craft beer, the Godfather. Craft beer, like, yeah, the Godfather. He laid it down. He laid it down before 15 years ago. It wasn't even a thought in people's mind of what they're, that guy would do with craft beer. They're talking in about a bar that's down the street. I've, I've been here just over here. Away. It's called the Cock and Bowl. And when you go out back in that place, they have like what looks like circus tents, and they have some of the best live music, some of the biggest acts in, in yeah. on the planet sure. have Great performed of there, us. which is very weird because it's a very obscure little place that nobody's ever heard of, and they have really huge shows. And uh, national the acts, great yeah. pizza. The pizza is oh, off the chain. Is. Food, really ranked right, right one of the top ten beer bars in yeah. America. They're going to be a future episode here. Uh, yeah, Valley of Dawn, sure. Cockable, They're going to be here. Yeah, it's going to be. A, that's going to be a fun show. Brett's done, the worm, Brett's, done Brett's done the worm there. Brett's done the worm on their bar floor. His yeah. signature worm, though, it's a little different than usual. He's wormed his way into their hearts. You know, I would call it the robot worm. I think he got. I think he created the new worm. Yeah, the just so everyone knows, worms. that's my bar to get extremely drunk at. So so everyone. Yeah, they have a. So it's fun. If you're ever into yeah. the Sarasota area <laughs> and it's cold, that's the place you want to go to because they have bonfires. Cock and bull, baby. The cock bonfires that yeah. you could cook bodies in, like huge. Allegedly. And they've done it before. They've fun. done it before. Pretty awesome. Last yeah, time. And live music. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great live music. National acts. Deck chocolate peanut butter. You gotta love it. It was named after a special. Old Declan. 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 Yeah. Declan, please. Yeah, one of yeah. our. Uh, really good stuff. What do we brew next? Here's contest. We uh, we do it a lot. You know, what do we? What do you want us to brew? Like, you know, what makes you want to drink beer? And uh, that was one of the the, the beers that the Heatons, uh, Dan and Danielle, yep. Triple D as we call them, and now yep. that are up on oh, the board yeah. as they're one of their tanks. And uh, they said, look, we want to do a chocolate peanut butter brown ale. And we said, we, uh, speaking of D, D is one of your bartenders. He was, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, no. He may be back. He may what be happened? making well, guest appearances. I was going to say he needs to be on one of the episodes. So here's the reality. He is, without a doubt, one of the best bartenders yeah. in the Sarasota Bradenton area. Uh, he found other things that, that may have worked for him. and uh, you know. Sad moment, folks. We're bringing the podcast. Yeah. Wah, wah. Well, well we're going to bring it right back up because we're going to the because, hotter hey, bond. You know what, though? Woo. His wife, uh, uh, Noelle. Noel. Noel, she's awesome. She's great. She's a personality. She's going to be on here for sure. Uh, his offspring, one of his offspring, for sure will be on here. Maybe the other one, too. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll make a kid-friendly really cool show. Uh, yeah, we'll Tanya, a kid show. Tanya's fun. She's a good <laughs> Nothing friend. like beer, sunshine, and kids. <laughs> yeah, beer, sunshine, and kids. Why not? This is family-friendly, by the way. There's it's dogs here wrong. all the time, too. There's dogs. If you like dogs, I've got three. They're great. Got a great outside, outside patio that was just, just expanded. They're, they're all service dogs. dogs. They're all service <laughs> dogs. <laughs> they have wolves. No. There's wolves here. No, no, yeah. they're all service dogs. Just so oh, yeah, yeah. They're blind, 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 deaf, and dumb dogs so show up here every day, PTSD. and they're allowed to drink beer for free. All service That's dogs. That's a thing. No, just kidding. So here's how this one works. <laughs> Suck it, PETA. Not, right. not, I've been oh, talking about this one for a while. No, dogs don't drink beer for that often. That's not a thing. It's not regular. Bulldogs do. I'm gonna contest that. Oh yeah. Lovey. Yeah. <laughs> so so at the same time, you guys are so we lost D. And then what other awesome bartenders besides yourselves? Because you guys don't really count because you kind of work. You we wear all the hats. We Let's do it all. Who yeah. else? Do we have some new ones coming? Do you have some new bartenders yeah, coming? Yeah, focus on Mike. Mike Yackley's yeah, been hanging in there doing a couple days for us, which his dad, Lee, is the gentleman that comes in. He's retired. Best bar. Yes. Best, best bong bar you'll ever have. Absolutely. Ever. He, he put, he's a full-time volunteer. Ah. He won't take a dollar. Thompson. Thank you. Yeah. He's got the best laugh. The best the volunteer tree. ever? You best laugh ever. I haven't, I haven't volunteered He's also in a band that plays here. Listen, the Tuesday, Wednesday... Uh, canning thing? Hot, hot, hot or hot. On. The Tuesday, Wednesday canning thing? I want in on that. I'm across the street. We want you in on it. I'm <laughs> in. I'm in. I work. I'm gonna listen. A lot of work. I, listen, I'm built, <laughs> I'm, I'm built low to the ground. I pick things up. I put things down. That's what I do all day long. I'm all about it. I can do it. You like hot let's, uh, let's reset for a second. <laughs> this is uh, Hot or Blonde, right? Yeah. Might as well. Honey Hollow Blaine, you. Jalapeno? What is it? Damn! Oh, Honey jalapeno. Oh, yeah. Honey jalapeno. Oh, yeah. Six years old. Yeah. Spicy. You're right. Spicy. 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 Oh. It has so there's a thousand in the back of my grilled tongue. jalapenos in this beer. Oh, the back of my tongue, 
I've got it's, a little it's heat. There. It's nothing overpowering. It's delicious. And then there's 30 gallons of local honey yep. from Ooh. my sweetest this honey. This is the balance. My yeah, sweetest honey. Awesome. I do not like it. comes in all the time. Beer beer we make. I yeah. love spicy food, and this is delicious. So this beer, this is amazing. I didn't bronze even know this at the U.S. Beer Open. Silver at the World Beer Championship done by uh, Tasty. Cheers. Yep. <laughs> oh, we're cheer. Oh, y'all can't see this, but we're getting cheerses from off camera. Oh, wow. and we're, we're taking it, and we're gonna take those cheerses. You can see that. You can see that award right that's on the That's Elliot. That's the, that's the guy. Is the camera sound guy. He's my yeah. buddy. Eventually, we'll get him. Josh on camera. wasn't able to make he this one. The award again? So I stepped in on yeah, Josh's behalf. Yeah. Talk about the award. Show me the bottle again. Yeah, that's really right delicious. There. That's really good. Yeah. Hold on. <coughs> I didn't know uh, you guys. So all of our artwork. Where's and, the uh, artwork? We uh we definitely got to nice. give credit. Ooh, who uh, does your artwork? Kyle Cross does our artwork. He's uh he's been he's been great. He's a, he's an amazing artist in Sarasota. Um, Alzon Studios. You know he he definitely picks up on what we are looking to do with uh, with our art and and not go over the top again. Our our branding is big top. But that does not necessarily mean that everything has to be clowns and, and, and over the top and circus. It's, and it's not like that this Florida and circus. Not yeah. this is all intertwined. No, 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 that's no, what we're and, and or, we or, are We in, are in super France is excited in France are clowns. to have you clowns? as a clown. Clowns? As a clown. Clowns. As a clown. You just coined a new uh, word, yeah. There's I don't think I did. No, you didn't. Zach Galvanakis. I'll blame you. I'll blame you as a new word. Yeah. Actually, it's funny because in my contract with Big Top, I, so when I first started, I started a contract. Dallas Bean Yeah. There's a no clown clause in my contract. No clown so, clause? Yeah. Any time a clown is used, I'm out. 100%. I don't want really? clowns. Yeah. So the problem here is Brett does try to quit every day. Uh, <laughs> at least does. once a day. At least once a day. He has the worst attitude. Uh, why? Whoa, hey! Why would you look for an Yeah, out? attitude's not where we want to go with. Man, I'm picking up black collar left and right. I'm picking up this and that. You know, you know what how is I, that? Yeah. You know how I know I had I was, an awesome. Beard. I said that in a loving manner. T Tommy, Tommy, you'll appreciate this. You know how I knew I had an awesome beard? He used to compliment it all the time. Ever since I trimmed it, not anymore. Mm. Now, it's, now I'm not. I'm off his radar. Until, I don't exist to him. That's the thing. I'm but no, you have the tuft. You have the tuft. This is what I tick the belly button this way. Oh, tickle the belly button. Which way you are know, you licking? You and I that too much the problem, right the problem is, it took him two, it took him three years to get that. Yeah, it took him that. Yeah. Not not three that. years to get that. Three years. What's and now I'm looking at Johnny. Man, you trimmed that, man. <laughs> Otherwise, you have it normally. Like a little bit more. Man, this. Yeah, look at this. I mean, that's that's crazy. It looks like a white truffle. Is it crazy? Right now. Really? Are you really saying that in front of him? It's, it's almost like, like we drank uh, so much. Right there. I don't know, man. He is the we should end in this room. podcast. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Come on. I think that's all attached. Uh, yeah, it is all uh, attached. It's almost like we drank so much we should end the podcast. <laughs> I think so. Are we even talking about beer anymore? No, no we're it's, not. It's only a goodbye for now. Yes, for goodbye now. for now. Till the next yeah. episode. We gotta sober go up. Out we to gotta you. sober up, and we'll see you. Hey, we'll cheers! See you next time. And cheers! Hey, cheers. Beer, beer, beer and sunshine. Beer. Beer. beer and sunshine. How are, we, how are we closing this out, Haven? How are we closing this out? Oh. What do you have to say to the good people in the world? Yeah. Have a beer tastic day. Have a beer tastic day. <laughs> yeah. Why beer not? Right? Sunshine. Thanks for watching. Come to Big Top Brewery. Cheers. And cheers. all your other local breweries. And cheers to you. Yes. Drink local.